Hello, I'm Dr. Michael Robinson, Chief Academic Officer in East Baton Rouge Parish, Louisiana. Well, we've made it to another week. Thank you for what you do each week for our scholars here in EBR. Achieve 3000 and Dreambox. Well, they are both back. And teachers, you should be doing three articles per week, which could be in science, social studies, or in ELA. Um, could be a combination. It could be them doing one in each of those um, respective areas. It is not just limited to, social, to ELA teachers, but social studies and science teachers can use Achieve 3000 as well. And then there are five lessons for Dreambox teachers that students should be doing per week. Now they can do more than five, but they should at least be doing five lessons per week for Dreambox and at least three articles per week for Achieve 3000. If you have any questions or you need any support, please let us know. Remember to also put in two grades per week. Now for fine arts teachers, this may need to be adjusted. And to fine arts teachers, please work collaboratively with the principal uh, to ensure that you're able to do what is necessary for grading. Hello, EBR. I'm Justin Robichaud with your math updates. As we enter the final week of September, we wanted to take a moment to remind teachers and administrators of our end of module assessments through Illuminate. All of the assessments for the year are available for teachers to browse, and so far over 6,800 students have taken our end of module assessments with 37% of those students scoring mastery or above. These end of module assessments provide valuable data sets for each student, standard and class on their performance. Please make sure to follow district pacing and take these assessments at the end of each module. As a reminder, all testing schedule information can be found on our math pacing calendars for each grade level. As for Dreambox, Congratulations to the following schools that have more than 90% of their students utilizing the platform through the first month and a half of school. Excellent job to Woodlawn Middle, Sherwood Middle, Glasgow Middle, Winborn, Mayfair, University Terrace, Scotlandville Pre-Engineering, LaSalle, Claiborne, McKinley Middle, Parkview, Melrose, Forest Heights, and Southeast Middle. Remember that students should be working toward their goal of five lessons per week, which again, can take anywhere from 45 to 75 minutes per week, depending on the student's grade level. In closing, I wanted to take the opportunity to recognize Baton Rouge Flame and the outstanding work display on their first grade hallway. The first grade teachers at BR Flame are doing a fabulous job of showcasing their student work using our EBR showcase tasks. If you have something amazing going on in your math department and want to see your school highlighted, please feel free to reach out to me at jrobichaud at ebrschools.org. And as always, thanks for everything you do to make EBR a great place to learn and work. Have a great day. Greetings from the East Baton Rouge Parish School Science Department. This week in science, we'd like to send a special shout out to all of the elementary schools who have signed up for the Elementary Science and Engineering Fair. For those who'd still like to sign up, please go to the EBR Elementary Science and Engineering Fair website at bit.ly backslash FALLFAIR22 in all caps to sign up. We will have another school coordinator meeting on October 4th at 4 p.m. on the Microsoft Teams for all of those who have signed up. We'd also like to remind you all that the science units assessments for middle schools grades six through eight have been released for their two week window covering units one and two. Coming soon will be the information for the 2023 Spring STEM Challenge. This year's challenge is sure to be exciting as EBR goes green with Save Our Community Challenge for grades K through 12. Last year's challenge produced projects that were top scoring in national competitions. You too can participate and get recognition for your school, local and beyond. The 2023 Spring STEM Challenge will be released on October 28, 2022. Stay tuned.
Thank you again for all that you do for the students of East Baton Rouge Parish Schools. Have a wonderful and productive week. Buenos dias, CBR. My name is Cesarico. I'm the executive director of the ESL department. I'd like to continue to celebrate Hispanic Heritage Month with you all as we continue to celebrate the many great accomplishments from our Hispanic leaders. However, I'd like to take a moment to thank the many great principals who have continued to embrace and work diligently to support our English learners and to continue to celebrate our Hispanic heritage. There are so many great elementary school principals like Ms. Oquan at River Oaks who do a great job of inclusion and building relationships. We have middle school principals like Ms. Brown from Woodlawn Middle School who show support and great, great direction through decorations and events at her school. And there's our many great high school principals like Mr. Heyman at Tara High School or Ms. Batiste at Bel Air High School who ensure that our students work hard in every class and strive to persevere and succeed. Thank you to our many, many more great principals. Muchas gracias. You are truly appreciated. I'd like to go ahead and also please take a moment to remind you to look at our ESL September newsletter for some awesome updates. Thank you all again, and a reminder to please continue to work on those wordplay strategies, juicy sentence strategies, and some great guided reading as well. We are continuing to work together in every classroom to support and help our ESL department and our English learners succeed. Thank you and I wish you a great and happy Hispanic Heritage Month. And please, don't forget to invite me to your many great events. Have a great day. Hello everyone from the Department of Professional Development Teacher Effect. PEEP and Mentoring Matters is our teacher induction program for East Baton Rouge Parish Schools. As a participant in the program, you are responsible for doing the following things. Year one and year two teachers, you're required to attend the monthly professional development. Year one is required to attend the virtual check-ins and it is optional for year two. At this time, all mentor and mentees should complete five collaboration hours per week. Mentor and mentee agreements should be completed in the Google Classroom using the Google form. All year one teachers should have completed their needs assessment. If you did not have the opportunity to attend the professional development for new teachers for our PLCs, you missed a treat. The teachers were engaged with the presenters around the ESL overview for our district. We want to say a sincere thank you to Mr. Rico and his team. The student teacher professional development was an awesome experience for our student teachers to expose to them to the district technology platform. Those teachers had the opportunity to learn about the SAMR model and ask questions around Nearpod. Thank you to Dr. Haney and her team for a job well done. Hats off to Crestworth Elementary, McKinley Middle, Mayfair Laboratory, and Terra High School. Their principals understood the assignment and the importance of professional development for their student teachers to help them grow as they prepare to join our team next school year. Please, principals, this is a sincere request. If you have student teachers in your building, please make sure they are a part of the Google Classroom for student teachers and attending the monthly professional development. We definitely do not want them to miss out. The Mentor Teacher Professional Development was an awesome experience. We want to say thank you to Mr. James and his team for presenting around the coaching model. Just a reminder that the coaching cycle began September 6. Our school spotlight for this week is Mayfair Laboratory School. Mr. Fontenot has normed all his teachers around his expectations. Each classroom we enter had a focus wall, that contained the essential questions, student learning outcomes, and agenda for the day. Hats off to Ms. Carolyn Shinnevert, our Spanish teacher from Mayfair Laboratory Schools. Great job, Ms. Shinnevert. If you need any assistance, and this is to our entire district, 
please feel free to contact me, sbranch at ebrschools.org or by phone at 225-226-4810 or cell phone 225-975-8376. If you require um, assistance with professional development during your PLCs, please feel free to reach out to me during that time as well. Thank you and have a wonderful week. Greetings. My name is Robert Garcia for the updates from the Exceptional Student Services Department. Teachers, the department has put together professional development opportunities for you to take advantage of. Please connect with your ISS for the calendar and or visit our webpage at www.bit.ly forward slash EBR underscore ESS. To access these opportunities on the webpage, please go to the Instructional Resources tab where the calendar is housed. Next week, the department will offer a PD on data analysis for teaching and learning that will be offered virtually at 2.30 and 3.35 p.m. Please be reminded that we use the Tier 1 curriculum, for example, EL, for our students with disabilities, including students in the K-2 self-contained classrooms. You may utilize the embedded supports for diverse learners available within the curriculum. Please connect with your ISS for support. Finally, teachers who are teaching students with autism, please continue to utilize visual supports for your students. Use a visual checklist to show the students what needs to be done to illustrate how to complete a task or to remind the student of different routines and procedures. You may use a visual schedule to help the students prepare for the day, a visual timer to help the student understand when an activity will end, and or visual picture cards to give students an opportunity to communicate. Your use of these supports will help you and the students tremendously. As always, we appreciate your hard work and dedication to students with disabilities. If you have any questions or concerns, Please do not hesitate to contact your ISS or call at 225-929-8600. Thank you. Greetings. The Social Studies content team is proud to announce there will be a district social studies fair this year. A very special thanks to Ms. Abair at Sherwood Middle School for serving as a teacher collaborator. A timeline with details are available on our website. Visit the announcements section for more information. Unit assessments are in Illuminate and should be given according to the timeline and the scope and sequence. Please connect with your site coordinator. The social studies content team offers live office hours. They are Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday of each week. To access the link, please visit the Meet Your Team tab and look under each of the team members information for the link. Support requests can also be submitted via the teacher's website. Go to bit.ly forward slash SSEBR. We are extremely excited to partner with Atreve 3000 this year. Articles will be in the lesson plans. These articles relate and correspond to content that you are covering in each unit. Remember, because you were born to make history, nothing is impossible. Greetings, here are a few gentle reminders for ELA. Remember, weekly lesson plans are developed to support the entire EBR district. They should be annotated by teachers to meet the individual needs of your students. When annotating the lesson plans, here are a few questions to consider. What standards be are being addressed that day? How are the daily goals and objectives being met? How will I support the needs of each individual student? Are questions prepared to support what students will be doing at each point in the class? What anchor charts should be incorporated as a resource for my students? And how are informal and formal assessments being directed? We are still looking for teachers to serve on the 2022-23 Content Teacher Advisory Committee. This Content Advisory Committee is dedicated to hearing feedback directly from our teachers. You can sign up on our ELA website. We want to hear your voice. We are so excited to continue our partnership with Achieve 3000. The resources that are available in the platform can support teachers and students. 
More information will be provided from our Achieve representatives. Hello, everyone. We are excited and delighted to be here to introduce ourselves to you. I am Courtney Brown, the project manager for McGraw Hill Achieve 3000 Literacy, and with me is Martina Guillory, your professional services manager. Now, listen, I want to take a moment to shout out Glen Oaks High School principal Signator and their literacy coach Shana Watson, whose hard work helped their students to achieve six times, you heard it right, six times the expected Lexile growth for high fidelity students who completed 40 or more articles at a 75% first try score. Let me also take a minute to shout out Principal Sims and AP Washington and their literacy coach Brittany Cherry over at Sharon Hills Elementary School who held the first school site implementation plan and all day teacher training. Please note that level set is taking place all over the district right now and needs to be completed by October 7th. And if you haven't had a chance to schedule your customized training or school site implementation plan, please visit tinyurl.com slash EBRIPS. Greetings. Dreambox Professional Development is coming soon. Executive directors will be working with school administrators to schedule both virtual and in-person sessions. So look forward to these wonderful learning opportunities. Well, we are so excited about the uh, monthly professional development opportunities that we will be having uh, posted on our DOA page. And so you can go to bit, as in Tom, dot L-Y, backward slash, uh, capitalized E-B-R, capitalized D-O-A and you will find the monthly professional development uh, opportunities. Please click on the month or the reference to those um, videos and you will be able to see videos for each of the respective content areas. This is very important as we are not always able to present at principal meetings or assistant principal meetings due to timing and the, with the schedule. We want to ensure that you're able to receive monthly professional development. And teachers, these videos are not just limited to our school leaders, although some of the content or the way it's delivered may be focused upon their leadership, but you are more than welcome to watch these videos as well, because we will actually be asking them to share those videos with you uh, during um, collaborative planning meetings, during faculty meetings, or simply just as an FYI. So please, please take the time to uh, watch those videos. As always, thank you for everything that you do to ensure that our boys and girls have a quality and premier education right here in EBR. Have a wonderful and marvelous week.